Welcome back everyone. It's time for our favorite time of the week. Matt is in from the Capital Humane Society. He was bumped yesterday because of a special report. So I guess we'll have to do it today, right? Yep, I guess we'll just uh, <laughs> we'll adjust on the fly. <laughs> All right, so who do we got here? We got some adorable puppies in here. So we got Edna, which is who you have, and then I have Violet and they're litter mates. And okay. so they're only about eight weeks old. And so they actually came to us on 4th of July. So their mom and uh, them were found in one of the parks here in Lincoln and uh, Animal Control brought them in and don't know why they were running around the park, but obviously nobody came looking for them. So they're ready for their new homes and uh, both girls, both been spayed and microchipped and all that. So they'll probably be fairly decent sized dogs. Yeah. I mean, they're already about seven, eight pounds. And so- I was gonna say my arm's um, starting to get a little tired. Mom kind of looks more like an Australian Shepherd. Okay. So when we say Shepherd mix, mm -hmm. you know, we're kind of using that loosely, but uh, probably end up you know, around 50 pounds, maybe a little more, maybe a little less when it's all said and done, but definitely very sweet puppies. Uh, Edna was a little bit more of a talker on the car <laughs> ride over than Violet. Violet's a little more shy, but yeah, uh, yeah definitely, uh, you know, some cute puppies. And they come with puppy breath, too. Oh, that's it. Uh, we'll throw that in. <laughs> added throw bonus. that in with the adoption fee is, uh, is, the, is the puppy breath. They seem so. pretty cuddly right now, but I'm guessing that'll change with, with time. Oh, I'm sure, you know, once they get a little bit bigger and they start exploring <laughs> the world a little more, they're a little more rambunctious yeah. and uh, a little more mischievous. So, yeah, but uh, right now they're, they're, they're in that stage where, you know, you can just hold them and they just kind of sit here, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, a lot of puppies still at the, at the shelter right now, Matt? Yeah, we have quite a few dogs, quite a few puppies, and a lot of cats, actually. We have a lot of kittens that are, uh, looking for homes. I mean, even after this past weekend, uh, Monday morning, lots of lots of kittens that were still available for adoption. So lots of pets still uh, looking for those homes. So definitely check out our website or just come into the adoption center. I know you were needing cat food last week, I believe. Do you still need some cat food, or what are there some um, other things? You not need right necessarily now? for at the shelter. So right now, what we're kind of looking for is things to replenish the pantry, yep. you know, the food pantry and the supply pantry at the Positive Impact Project. So you know, food of all brands. Um, litter, toys, other pet supplies um, that maybe you don't need anymore or your pet doesn't like uh, that we can we can get into the hands of people that need it through the PAWS program. Uh, what events you guys got coming up? I know uh, Tales and Tees is on. It's coming up. Yep. Soon. So Tales and Tees is next Friday um, out at Highlands Golf Course. So still a couple team slots available if, if people want to sign up. But otherwise, next Monday we have poses and paws uh, yoga night at Off Leash Dog Bar. So if you want to do some yoga with some puppies running around, uh, there's still a few tickets remaining and you can get those on our website. I think Edna was, she perked up when you said <laughs> yoga. Do you like yoga, yoga, Edna? <laughs> yeah? Oh, you're getting a little rambunctious here. <laughs> um, any other things that you guys, are, there's still a promotion happening right now that for cats yep, right now? Yep, so Mary Jo uh, Livingston is yes. still sponsoring half the adoption fees on all cats five months and older. So if you're looking for a cat, uh, you know, she's sponsoring half the adoption fee. So basically you can adopt for half of the normal uh, price essentially. So that's still going on. Um, so folks can take advantage of that, but otherwise, uh, you know, just always need more foster parents. Yeah. Um, this time of year is when a lot of people start to travel uh, for the summer, and so, you know, our foster network, uh, not as many homes are available, so we can always use more. So if people are interested, you can look on our website and get signed up to be a foster parent. Awesome. Well, Matt, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, Violet, can you guys say bye? <laughs> say bye-bye. All right, we'll be right back, everyone. Please stay with us.